A cheap pen can cost you 10 cents. A Fisher Space Pen is 20 bucks. Part of the reason is the mileage. The cheapo one will write for about two miles. The Fisher is advertised to go for 30. But that's not the only reason it might be a better choice in space, assuming for some reason you don't want to bring a pencil. You've probably never tried to use a pen upside down, but if you did, you'd have a tough time. Now imagine you're in outer space where there's no gravity at all. What do you do? October 11th, 1968. The first Apollo astronauts enter Earth's orbit, and the first space pens were right there with them. They're not like other pens. Instead of relying on gravity, they have special pressurized cartridges that use nitrogen gas to push ink out, which means they can write at any angle, or in extreme cold, or extreme heat, where the ink in a normal pen would get too thick or too thin to write. And while most pens use water-based ink, space pens use glycol, allowing them to write underwater or even through grease. Paul Fisher first created the pressurized ink cartridge in 1966. The next year, NASA purchased 400 of them for $6 a pop. More than 60 years later, Fisher space pens are used on the International Space Station. Your other pens might run out of ink pretty quickly, but this one should last you about 100 years. 